So now I wasn't completely sure what to uh, name this circuit, so I'm just going to go with accumulated light trigger. Right now, the capacitor is charged to 5 volts. We have 5 volts at the power supply. The output is low, so the red LED right there is on. When I press the uh, reset switch right here, you can see it goes down to 0 volts. Soon as I release it, now based on how much light is falling on the photodiode, you can see how fast the capacitor is charging. And it's relatively fast right now. Once the uh, voltage gets up to about two thirds of the supply voltage, so we got five volts, somewhere around about three and a half, then the output goes low and will stay low because the capacitor is uh, staying up there. So that's how fast it went with my lamp at the brightest setting. Now we got less light falling on the photodiode, and by the way it's charging, when I put my finger there it might slow down a little bit, but it's charging through the photodiode and then uh, charging up the capacitor. And uh, there you can see it's taking longer. There's less light, so it's going to take longer for the capacitor to get to somewhere about 3.5 volts than it did when we had a brighter light. So ultimately, in the long run, whenever we uh, hit the switch, between that time that I release the switch and the LED turns on, we should get a certain amount of light, either a lot of it really quickly or a little bit over a long period of time, but it should be about the same amount of total light. And now we'll get a closer look with the schematic. So this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor. We're using five volts at the power supply. This can be charged up to 35 volts, but in any case, you can see that's going to ground the negative side positive supply to the top of the switch. The top of the switch is also connected via this little jumper. So now also the uh, capacitor to pin number six there, the threshold pin, and pin number two, the uh, trigger pin right there. As you can see, they're monitoring the voltage. That's what they do of the capacitor. Then we got the uh, photo dial. So I got that right here, short lead. The cathode is to the uh, positive side of the power supply long lead the anode to the top of the switch. So the top of the switch is always connected to the uh, the two top ones I should say. So that's always connected. There's a direct connection. Right now light's falling on here. If the capacitor wasn't fully charged, current would be flowing through and charging the capacitor. And uh, as we saw before we had to press the button after a while to discharge the capacitor. So there you can see the uh, reset uh, button that I put there. That's what I'm going to name it. The reset button we close that we have a direct connection to ground that instantly discharges the capacitor there's ground on both sides that's how that works we have to power the 555 timer as always so pin number eight to the uh, positive supply up there and uh, pin number one to ground that's the direction that you uh, wire it and there's a voltage divider in there to know when you hit uh, one third and two thirds supply voltage to uh, those two pins we have, I'm not going to go over that in detail, I have another video. So there we got the load, 220 ohm from the positive supply right there. So you know the output's low, that's to the positive supply, long lead anode, and then short lead cathode down there, because the LED is lit up. It won't light up if you go positive to positive of the same voltage. There has to be at least, this is a red LED, about 2 volt difference. So 5 and 5 is the same, 5 and 0 is a voltage difference. So that's when the LED lights up. If I reset the 555 timer, now the output is 5 volts, the LED is off until the capacitor charges up through the uh, photo down, 2 thirds supply voltage, now it went to ground. So, in any case, I went over all these topics, but now I'm combining them in a different way, and uh, so hopefully that makes that perfect sense if you've seen my earlier videos. Thanks for watching, make sure you check out the links down below, they all help a lot, and check out one of the videos posted to the screen. I'll see you in the next video.